Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Christmas is coming and I know a lot of you are thinking about what gift are you going to give your loved ones this coming Christmas and I am here to help you not to make the mistake of having to put all the effort in buying a gift and just knowing that the person that you give it to will just exchange it. In working with Louis Vuitton for five years, I have had a lot of experience of exchanges and these are the items that people usually exchange right after Christmas. So um, if you're interested and if you're one of the people that are thinking of buying something from Louis Vuitton for your loved ones, keep on watching until the end. The first product that people always exchange after Christmas that they received as a gift are the bandos. Bandos is a very common gift this coming Christmas. Let's face it, not everyone uses bandos unless they have a particular bag that they want to put a bandu on. Some clients interpret it as an accessory. Not a lot of people, very, very few people use it as an accessory. It's very hard to put something on your neck that short and that thin. Um, some people use it as a headband, not a lot of people does. So there's not much use with the bandu. Also, there are a lot of selections of colors and people tend to assume about the colors and the design. Uh, give this to people that loves Vivian. Vivian collection of these bandus are very, very cute. But in general, if you just want something to give, I think there are a lot of other useful things that uh, you can give aside from this bandu because bandu is honestly useless if you don't unless you know that there's a particular bag that they're going to wrap it into unless it's just going to sit on their drawers and most people go back and get something more useful so uh bandu is one of the items that is mostly exchanged after christmas so if you're thinking of giving it to someone that you love or someone that is special to you Think twice, know what color they want, know which bag they're going to uh, put it to. Uh, bandus are one of the most affordable gifts to give, but there are also other options like fashion accessories, fashion jewelries, and a lot more in this price point. Number two are the silk scarves. Silk scarves, honestly, Louis Vuitton has a lot of offers or a lot of uh, prints that are really really cute however this is one of the useless accessories too that you can give a person I haven't seen uh, a lot of people wearing silk scarves as an accessory it's very hot here to put something on your neck to walk around Singapore so um, I think in the West probably it's it's a widely used accessories but in Singapore uh, in my opinion silk scarf is useless unless they're gonna frame it people buy it for framing and not for accessory accessories i know that sounds weird but it is really happening because they have beautiful prints to be wasted if you're just gonna put it in your drawers so um yeah people change it usually to shawls i know that shawls are too big and too hot because it has wool content in it but i think it's gonna be more useful because it's bigger and um you don't have to leave in a cold very cold country to have to use it you can use it for an indoor weather and you won't look weird using it and this is just my opinion and this is uh the one of the items that are mostly exchanged after christmas number three bags exchange from small to big and big to small there's no particular bags um that i am going to discuss but it's basically people assuming that if a person has a lot of huge bag they will get something small because they have already a lot of um big bag so um the logic to this is that that person has particular size of bag because of their essentials so don't assume that a person will use your small bag if you buy that because they don't have it yet no it depends on their day-to-day -day things that they use some people most people would love to carry umbrella and water bottle in singapore maybe because it's hot here and would it would suddenly rain but um aside from that um youngsters go for uh small bags small tiny bags so for example i have a colleague that really carries this size of bag every single day it's it's an accessory she can only put her 
I don't know, cards in there. But if I would give her a never full GM, it will just end up in her cupboard. Because she, it is not her style and it is not the bag that she usually uses. So be smart about it. Don't assume that if a person does not have that item, it will be something that they would want to receive. Be mindful of the size that they use. Know their essentials, know their lifestyle before you decide on what size of a leather good or a bag that you're going to give them. Number four is people exchanging canvas to leather or leather to canvas, wallets, leather goods, small leather goods in general. Not specifying what item it is as well. It is also a test of how much do you know a person. Um, some people collect monogram canvas or damier canvas and assuming that, oh, they already have a lot of it, so I would give a leather this time. Um, it is hard to tell. One indication that a person likes a monogram canvas is you can really see it that all they have is canvas and they're like loyal to a monogram canvas. However, you also have to know if the person wants to show off the branding or not because there are two types of clients. The one who really wants to show that they're carrying Louis Vuitton and the one that wants it as subtle as possible. Discovering the person that you're going to give it to is very important but uh, change of material is uh, something that I actually encounter most of the time after Christmas. Number three, sunglasses. Sunglasses is a no-brainer. Why would you give someone a sunglasses? You know that there are a lot of things to consider when you're going to give someone a sunglasses. Shape of the face, the height of the nose, everything. So guys, please do not give any sunglasses as a Christmas gift because it's worse than a shoe. Shoe, you just have to know the size. You might nail it, but sunglasses, there are a lot of things to, 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 to know. So uh, avoid. I, I don't have any alternative on how are you going to give us sunglasses to a person unless you bring them to the store and they tried it once and they say that they like it. Aside from that, do not guess or do not just pick a random sunglasses because you think that it will suit them. It's very, very difficult. There are a lot of things in this price point that is very safe to give, like I say, bandu, fashion accessories. If you have a little budget, of course, fine jewelry is more personal. Uh, yeah, so sunglasses is funnily that we receive a lot as, as an exchange after Christmas. So these are the five items that I think you have to take note when buying a uh, Christmas gift for someone. But I have one important piece of advice when you're buying a uh, Louis Vuitton uh, item for someone is that uh, to ask for a gift receipt. A gift receipt is a receipt without your name. I mean, you purchase it under your account. Original receipt will have your name. Like for example, me, it will have Murphy Galena, the item and the price. So with the gift receipt, it's going to be just the name of the item. However, it is valid for exchange. It will make the SA that will receive it um, life's easier so that it's easy for us to track and just do the exchange. So um, ask for the business card, put it together with the gift receipt. So when the person that you give it to go back to the store and exchange it, it will be a very smooth transaction. So yeah, short video and I hope you like it. It's very hot in here right now because our air condition is uh, not working. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope next time there will be an interesting um, bags that I can discuss. But for now, I hope these tips are helpful for all of you guys. And uh, advance Merry Christmas. And uh, I will see you on my next video. And if you haven't followed my Instagram yet, please do. Instagram and TikTok right here. And also subscribe so I can grow this channel. Thank you all. See ya!